Hi guys, welcome to another video. What you are seeing here are all the things I have prepared to create a paper door with you today. This video is going to be a bit long, but I wanted to show you how I am going to create this paper door in the pocket size and take you through all the steps and show you all the things that um, you need to do your own traveler's notebook. Basically, I have been wanting to have this smaller version of a traveler's notebook for quite some time to be able to carry it in all the types of bags. Um, the bags that you usually see in the what's in my bag videos are those that I have during the weekdays when I have to go to the office, when I have work to do. But um, during weekends, I tend to go for a little bit of a smaller version for bags. And I always, always need a notebook where I can write Whatever comes to my mind, notes, brain dumps, um, even notes for YouTube videos. And um, I found out that I really need this type of traveler's notebook with me, but I need it to be small to be able to carry it and also lightweight. So this is why I went for the paper dory instead of maybe leather or fall leather or other type of materials available. So I am going to take you through step by step what I will be using so that you will know what you need if you want to create one of these traveler's notebook. I have my laminator there, laminating pouches, um, cardstock, um, I do have stickers, small notebooks, my cutter, my cutting board rulers. And I also have over there, I am sure you can see it, which is that one over there, I have two. Those are previously made traveler's notebook in the pocket size, so I can have a guide, but I will also be giving you the exact measurements so that if you wanna create yours, you will still have all the information that you need. I have also um, elastic bands over there. So as you can see, you don't need to have a lot of things. You just need to have some craft material and papers, basically. Um, I'm going to take you through all the steps. So don't worry, I'll show you everything. But I just wanted to do this introduction and show you all the things that you need. So let's get started and let's move into doing this paper dory. Okay, one of the very first steps that you need to do to create your paper dory is actually choosing the colors and the designs you want your cover to look like. We are going to do a paper dory, which is a traveler's notebook made from paper. Um, so we need to choose the colors and the designs from different types of cardstocks and other types of craft paper that might be available here. For instance, I do have some booklets that I use a lot um, from where I had chosen my design. And as you can see here, I have this type of booklets and these are craft papers. Um, I have been using this booklet a lot. So as you can see, I don't have a lot left in this booklet, but there are different designs and different colors. Then here I also have another type of booklet and this is also a crafts paper booklet and there are so many different types of papers and colors. These are very beautiful. Um, I have not used a lot from this booklet but um, as I said, I love these. I have used them to do dividers and I'm in love with the type of paper because although it's paper, it's still quite strong in its quality. And there are many, many different designs as you can see here. I also have other booklets that actually have cardstock here. And this is also another one that I have used quite a lot. As you can see, there are different types of colors, glittery colors, um, pink colors, the ones that I love the most. And I have already done a paper dory from this type of design um, some time ago. I have also another one from this type of design. So basically I have been using quite these booklets a lot. But for this paper dory, I have already chosen my design, which is going to be this one here. And it has the pink flowers. It has designs and colors that I'm very much in love with and they will also complement the 
planner lineup that I have for 2019. As I said, I want this paper dory to be in my bag constantly. So I really want something that I am going to be in love with all year round. Um, I'm not saying the cover might not be changing because I tend to change quite a lot in my um, planner lineup throughout the year, but I happen to love a lot of this type of structure here because it has soft colors in this design. So this paper, you can actually open it up and it would be coming um, quite larger than it is. But for the purpose of this paper dory, since it is a pocket size, it will fit me to be this way. Here I do have two pocket size um, traveler's notebook that I have made quite some time ago. And I have been using these for the size and for the measurements since I have one this is actually one of the very first ones that I have made um, I can use this and as you can see here it fits perfectly the paper and I will have just to cut some of it to uh, make it in the right measurements but um, I'm still going to give you the measurements, so don't worry about that. But since I have already Traveler's Notebook, which I have made, I will be using it to cut my paper to size. Um, I'm going to give you, let me put a little bit these ones aside. I'm going to give you the measurements. So um, here it is a 15.5 centimeters and here it is let me show you it is a 26 centimeters and I have this little paper here and I'm gonna just um, give you the measurements straight away so I have also a reminder again let me just take the measurements better this is a 15.5 so you need to take the measurements and make a note of them so they are at hand but I will be cutting the traveler's notebook cover that I'm going to be using um, from this paper in these measurements here um, these are the measurements the length is 26 centimeters while the width is 15.5 centimeters I'm gonna cut this um, cover and I'm gonna come back to show you my lamination process so the paper that I have chosen has been cut, as you can see, in the size of the pocket paper dory. As it was folded, the design came out to be wonderful even from the other side of the paper. And I will go on to laminate it. And I am going to be using an A4 size lamination pouch for this. I have my laminator here, which has been set on hot and it says it's ready so I can um, go on with the lamination and I'm going to be putting the uh, paper in the middle of the lamination pouch and I am going to put it inside the lamination machine and as you can see it's going into the laminator and it will come out as a laminated um, pouch but it will give a lot of strength to the paper that I have chosen for my paper dory let me just show you a little bit better how the design is going to be showing which is also um, sort of shiny and I really like this design and the cover is going to be um, very beautiful and very uh, stylish so it's almost finished okay so this is it and this is the pouch and my design for the cover completely laminated this is the other side and i am going to go on and cut from this plastic just leaving um, half a centimeter from the edges of the paper so that there is a little bit of more strength so let me go ahead and cut it out and i will be showing you um, the end result 
So the paper has been laminated as you saw and I have also cut around the sides of the paper and left um, some half centimeter of plastic from the lamination pouch as you can see here to give some more flexibility to the paper once I fold it. This is the way I am going to fold it and this is how my cover for the paper dory will be. But since I will need to use it in my bags, I know that it will get sort of a little bit abused because of the bag, because of the other things in the bag and because it's going to be used on the daily. So I am going to do two important things. I am going to go around the edges with this tape here. So I am going to cover with tape these edges here, this here and this side and all the sides of the uh, cover so that I will have further reinforcement for the lamination plastic. And then I am going to find the middle part of the paper dory and I am going to be using this type of tape. This is sort of a different tape because it's a very, very strong tape. It's used to um, do uh, a lot of repairs to tents, camping tents and a lot of other things as you can see in the pictures on the tape. And I will be putting it um, along uh, vertically in the middle of the pocket so that when I am coming to punch in the holes for the uh, strings for the elastic strings for my notebooks it will be even stronger and it will keep everything very much compact I'm gonna go doing that and I will be showing you the end result of that process So this is how I do cover the sides and the edges of the paper dory cover and I will be going on in doing all the sides for my cover too um, and this is how it gets basically reinforced as you can see here I do have um, some more tape it's transparent packing tape it's very normal tape it does not get a lot to get one of these tapes it's not expensive at all and it gives a lot of more strength to the edges from opening up after um, a lot of use because the lamination pouches they tend to open up after quite a lot of use so this tape will prevent that from happening I went on and covered all the sides of my paper dory cover. I don't think that you can see it that much, but I'm going to try through the lighting to show you where the um, packing transparent tape is. It's here, look, you can see it. Um, and I did cover all the sides. And now I am going to do um, another coverage with tape, which is going to be the middle part of the cover to give me some more um, reinforcement for the elastic strings that I need to put. I have showed you this one before, but I am going to show you how I'm actually going to do it. So the cover has 26 centimeters and I am going to just measure from the paper side to the other side of the paper. I'm not going to count for the lamination pouch and I am going to find the middle and actually a 26 centimeters if it is divided in two it will be a 13 centimeter so I'm going to mark actually the middle part of the paper which is here the 13 and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and the 13 is right here okay and if I just go from the point that I've made on the upper side of the paper dory to the bottom one I'm gonna try to find 
the middle one which is a 15.5 and a 16 would be an 8 and the middle part would be an 7.5 maybe so the middle one is somehow over here at 7.6 which is 15.5 centimeters divided by 2. So I am going to just keep those as markings as indication for me of how am I going to work when I'm going to mark the uh, where the holes need to be for the strings but I am going to cover this side here and this side here and also the middle part where I'm actually going to punch holes with this tape to give me some more reinforcements. I'm going to do that and I'm going to show you the end result. I have finished the tape on the spine of the cover which is you can see it here in the middle it's quite shiny um, from the lighting that I have and I have used the markings that I have made earlier which was this one here this one in the middle and this other one in the upper part of the cover and when I'm going to be doing the holes for the strings for the elastic strings of the um, notebooks it will be more reinforced and it will keep it together more neatly and I'm sure that it's going to prevent quite a lot of breakage in the plastic but before going on and doing the holes that I need for the strings of the notebooks. Um, the One of the very first things that you need to do when you are doing a paper dory, a traveler's notebook, or whatever the planner might be, is actually setting up a plan of what you want in your planner, in your notebook, in your traveler's notebook, whatever that is. So I here have my plan. So since this is going to be just in my bag, um, for me to be able to write whatever I want, whenever I want, I have set up six booklets and I'm saying here plus one because I just want one extra string for any pockets to throw in all those papers, um, receipts and whatever you might have going on in your bag. So it will be also sort of a catch-all for me um, to include whatever I have going around in my bag at any point in time. So my six booklets will be a brain dump, another uh, notebook as to remember, another one as to do, another one as to buy, another one is noted and the sixth booklet will be everything else. This is the way I have been thinking about um, this paper dory to be because I have all the other sections in my planner and for sure I don't want to mess up with those but just in case I need to scribble and I don't want to be that much neat or I'm in a rush I have a place where I can do this and this is what my paper dory my traveler's notebook that I am creating here with paper will be for so I will need to uh, put uh, seven booklets or seven strings in total, six booklets and possibly another one or a pouch. It depends uh, for what I will be using that plus one string. But I will have to punch seven holes. So I will start straight away from the one in the middle, which is going to be my starting point. And I hope you will be able to see this um, quite well. I'm going to focus a little bit for you to see better. And I am going to start from this mark that I have made earlier. And I'm going to take half centimeter for each of the holes I am going to punch. So when I'm going to do the markings, I will start from this one and I will be half a centimeter away from each of the markings. So I have two, I have three, I have four, I have five, six, and seven. And as you can see, let me show you closer, I do have seven markings, which is going to be the markings for the holes I need to punch. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to start out with um, 
the one in the middle that I have done earlier and I'm gonna do seven one on each side every time so those are three four five six and seven and now I am going to take my punch and I am going to punch holes on each of these markings here on the one in the middle here and on the ones over here I'm gonna come back and show you um, my punched holes in this cover for the traveler's notebook I am creating I have completed the punching of the holes as you can see I have done the seven holes at the top of the cover and I also have the seven holes at the bottom and the one in the middle which I made it a little bit larger than all the others because the elastic band that I am going to use to close the cover with is going to be a bit thicker um, before I move on to the elastic bands that I have chosen, I want to show you this one. This is the tool I have used to do the uh, punching of the holes in my cover. Um, I think I have had this for two years or even more possibly and I have always used this tool here to do the punching of the holes in all my traveler's notebook. It's a very good tool. Um, I think it has featured in all the previous videos that I have made about Traveler's Notebooks. Um, I don't know whether I will be able to find the link for you if you are interested in purchasing one like this, but I will try to find it and if I manage to find it, I will include it in the description box down below the video. But if you are also interested in watching all the other videos for Traveler's Notebooks and the making of Traveler's Notebooks, you can go to my channel and you can look for those videos because I can assure you that there are quite a bunch of those types of videos and how to string your uh, traveler's notebook and how to punch the holes and make it in different sizes, etc. So now moving on to the uh, elastic bands, I usually use this type of elastic. It's not that much thick, but it's a very, very strong elastic. And this is the one that I am going to use to do the strings for my notebooks. As for the uh, one which will be closing the traveler's notebook, I will be using this one here. It's a little bit thicker, but as for the color, it matches. I think it matches completely the design and I really, really like it. So I am going to go ahead and do the strings. What I can tell you is that whenever you are seeing how much of the elastic band you need, you always need to leave a little bit extra either at the top or at the bottom, depending from where you are going to go in with the strings um, so that you have enough space to do a bunch of knots because for the beginning of the uh, putting of the elastic bands into the cover and also for the end we will be uh, doing quite some knots so you need extra elastic bands. Um, I am going to show you how I am going to go in and how I am going to do the uh, elastic bands to a bunch of, of holes from one to the other in this cover and will continue like that until I finish uh, the whole process. I have uh, tried to see how much of the elastic band I needed and what I've done is I've just went on with one of the elastic bands like this and I'm keeping that and I went on with this is the second string and then I went on like this all the time the third string and the fourth string and the fifth string sixth and seven and I also have a little bit extra but as you can see the in-between strings have not been cut. The only two edges that I have is the one which I will be starting the string with and the other one which will be the end of the uh, strings that I will be putting on my cover. So let me start with the actual putting in in each of the holes of the elastic bands. 
So now I am going to go on with the insertion of the elastic bands into each hole so that I will be very soon including my notebooks in this paper dory. Um, I am not actually going to go in the first hole that you are seeing here, but I am going to go in with the elastic band from the second hole. Let me just show you. And this is how I am going to go in with my elastic bands and I will be putting a bunch of knots here so that I can get it quite secure from getting out again. So let me put these knots. I hope that you can see it quite well. And this is how I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to do three or four knots, one on top of each other. So the knots become quite thick and they will secure the elastic band from getting out of the hole of my cover. So you have to be very, very careful to do the knot one on top of each other. As you can see, it's getting quite um, thick. And this is how these are three knots and I'm going to do the fourth one. So I will be sure that I will have enough thickness for the elastic band to be completely secured. And this is how it's going to be. As you can see, it's not getting out. And I'm going to go in now onto the first hole that is this one here. And this is how it's going to be. And now I have come in and let me just show you what's going to happen. So basically the elastics will be going in here to the bottom, come in from the second, go in again into the second one and continue like that until I finish up. So I'm going to go in with that process and show you the end result of the uh, strings attached completely and finished to my paper dory. So I have the strings completely finished. Now, as you can see, this is from the inside and this is from the outside part of the paper dory cover. And as you can see here, they are quite flat, but what I need so that my notebooks will be kept very much um, in a steady way is by um, making them a bit more um, stretchy, just stretching the elastic bands so that each and every one of the notebooks will be kept in place by um, quite some stretchy um, elastic bands. So as you can see there, this is the way it will show my uh, cover has been bent a little bit, but once the notebooks are put in, um, the cover will go flat once again and it will be more steady for the notebooks to stay on the cover. I am going to, as you can see here, I do have quite extra bend. So I will be going into the second hole once again and do the same process as I did when I went in to make four knots on top of each other to uh, be able to close the whole uh, flow of the elastic bands and just keep it steady as it is here. So I'm gonna do that now. The strings are complete. As you can see, I have the knots that I started the stringing with and I have also the end knot that I have ended the elastic bands and the strings that I made and when I just put it a little bit flexible and try to bend it this is the way the strings will be because I have pulled them a little bit to give this um, type of form to the cover because when the notebooks will be inserted into it it will go back flat but it will uh, secure the notebooks better and will give a steady look to the um, paper dory. Um, for the end uh, of the string, I have done the same thing. As you can see, I went in onto the second hole that I have made and I have put the 
four knots on top of each other. Now what am I going to do is um, putting this one here that will be closing actually the paper dory. So here, if you just bend it, this is the end result of it and we'll have this elastic band. Um, now, what I need to do, I'm going to use one of these tools here, which is sort of a pinching tool. And I will just go in the middle of it and will simply be pushing this um, elastic here to the hole that I had made earlier and I will be just pinching it until I get it out of the hole completely. Um, this takes a little bit of work because um, it's not that easy to get such a thick elastic out on the other side because the hole will be quite smaller than the uh, elastic but it came out and I'm gonna just uh, get it out on the other side and as you can see here it is and if I close the paper dory it will be like that so my cover is done it is completed I'm gonna put in the notebooks that I want and I'm gonna come back and show you um, how the actual traveler's notebook is completely finished with the notebooks that I am going to put in my traveler's notebook that I am going to keep in my bag in 2019 is now ready and finished. I'm in love with this. I know I have said it many times, but the design is great, perfect, beautiful. It has the colors I want it to have. And I have now included the notebooks in my traveler's notebook and also a sort of pocket here pouch. Um, for receipts and a lot of papers that sometimes I do have going around in my bag. And yes, this is the end result of all this process that I have shown you in this video. As you can see here, I had quite a bunch of notebooks to choose from and I tried to just choose the ones that fit most the purpose of each of the notebooks. I'm gonna show you what I have inside and the first notebook is for brain dump. And when I'm saying brain dump, I usually think about a place where I can write um, in whatever manner I want. I want to write not that much neatly. I'm in a rush. I need to put in a note. I need to jot down a note. And that's the place. I don't want to have lines or boxes and checked paper and whatever that is. I just want to have a place where I can write whatever is going on through my mind. And I think that the plain paper notebooks are very much ideal for this. I do these myself with some um, A4 paper that I usually use for my printer. So you can do that um, and use the same measurements of the paper dory. The next notebook that I have included is the To Remember. I had purchased these notebooks some time ago. They were packs of three. And I also have these types of notebooks that came in packs of three too. And I decided to start using them because I have been hoarding quite a lot of notebooks and almost never using them. But I was just um, liking to look at them and never using them. So it's time that I start using what I have. And this is uh, a very good uh, opportunity to just use some of the notebooks that I have. The second notebook will be my to-do. And so I have chosen the notebook with the title Make It Happen. Another notebook here will be used for to buy things, so shopping lists, etc. And this is why I have chosen the notebook with the title Go For It. The next notebook will be Noted. And since I had um, notebooks that had on the front cover notes, I thought that this would be ideal. And then the last notebook is one that has, uh, that is going actually to be used for everything else. So I just went for one of these types of notebooks. I have some pouches here that I have cut down to size. They are actually um, plastic folders and I have just 
cut them to size and as I said I have this uh, pocket here and I have one of these pen loops that I have purchased and attached it um, with double sided tape to this pocket so it will hold also my pen. So this is the end result of my paper dory as I said I'm very much in love with it and I think I will be using it quite a lot because it will also be part of my 2019 planner lineup. So I will also be um, coming up with a video. I am going to film a video actually for my planner 2019 lineup. So wait for that and this one is going to be there. So until the next video, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that you will be subscribing, liking the video and uh, also clicking on that notification bell for more videos to come for you. And until the next video, take care. Bye.